Low Voltage Pro is a high performance family of cable testing and device testing ability. If you're a low voltage pro, it means that you're working with cable pulling, could be Ethernet cable, speaker cable, video cable, putting jacks in those cables, testing the cable, and you're probably starting to work on devices now like IP phones, IP cameras, CCTV cameras, those kinds of things. And the Low Voltage Pro is designed to not only give you a high quality cable test, but also help you troubleshoot a lot of the devices that you work with. You can tell what you get with each model of the Low Voltage Pro family by looking at the back of the package. The Model 1, for instance, comes with the cable testing plus six device apps. When you move to the Model 2, we add length. And when you move to the Model 3, we add six more device apps, including the ability to store and print 250 tests. Now, please take the time to read about the various device apps on the side of your packaging. Also, I'd like to call attention to the um, RLQ capability of the length app where we're at, we look beyond just the mechanical part of cable testing but we give you a quality rating to your cable also. Now let's say you can't afford the Model 3 right now. Go ahead and start with the Model 1 and the Model 2 because this tester family is web upgradable. You simply go to ByteBrothers.com, download the apps you want to move from one model family to the next. Now, if you have more time to spend with us, we're going to be taking a quick demo of um, uh, each of the particular apps that come on this Model 3 that I have here. Now, the first test that we're going to do is going to be on an RJ45 cable. We're going to take our tester. We're going to mount our remote and you can see how easy it is to use. This is a data cable. I can simply move my left arrow to look at speaker, video, voice. Let's go back to the data cable. The apps associated with the cable are in a column below each cable type so I can simply use my up and down arrow to select that particular test. And if you've always had problems with testers where tests were buried in menus and you never could remember that they were on the tester, this big screen shows all the tests that are available. Isn't that great? You can see all the tests immediately just by looking at the screen. So we're, we're on a data cable. We're going to go down to the cable test. I press OK to start all of the Low Voltage Pro tests. The hammer starts moving, meaning the tester is running and it shows me that I've passed and that's my wire map. The cable is 54 feet long because this particular tester does have the length app installed but look what else you get. I'm going to select the magnifying glass to learn more details start pushing my down arrow I can look at my feet prepare my propagation delay prepare, my skew prepare this is all defined in the manual and this is the impedance of the cable. Many of you know that a matching impedance cable is good for maximum data transfer and we actually measure that. And you know what? That comes standard on all models of the Low Voltage Pro. That's why we say we have an exceptional cable tester built into this. Now let's take a look at some of the other features. I simply exit like I do any test and notice the hammer, st hammer stopped. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my cable. I could test this coax cable if I wish, but let's move on to some device apps, shall we? I'm going to put my uh, remote back in. And uh, what should we test? Should we start with the battery test? That's kind of nice. Let me uh, think we have, let me, uh, let's say we think we have a battery that's going bad. And we want to test it. So I'm going to hook my little alligator clips up to this. I'm going to go to speaker alarm. Oops, let's kick out of that. There we go. Over to speaker alarm. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom to battery test. I'm going to say OK to start the test. Now, every time I press the OK, I put a load on the battery. 100 milliamp load. And what we're looking at 
is to see if the voltage of the battery drops significantly. It says it's 12.6 volts, but notice it doesn't drop significantly. So that's good. We got a good battery. So I'm going to exit out of that, my battery test. Let's do our speaker test. This is one you're going to use a lot. You find a speaker wire somewhere, you don't know where it goes, hook up the adapter to it, plug it in. We're still on speaker. Go down to speaker pop. Press OK. Notice the hammer's going. Stop the hammer by pressing the exit. That's it. I know which speaker is being driven. Let's say we're working with a CCTV camera and we've run the camera uh, through a long warehouse and we're concerned as to whether the um, excuse me a minute. we're concerned uh, as to whether we have enough video signal to uh, for a DVR to uh, work with uh, with the camera so let's do the VPP test we take our adapter that you uh, that you can buy separately converts from the BNC to the RJ45 I'm sorry to the F connector the coax F connector I'm going to screw that in and let's go over to video oh, let's get out of this test first let's go over to video and let's go down to the CCTV camera press OK and you will notice it says the camera has 1.76 uh, peak to peak voltage so we're well over one volt which is just great now we're actually measuring live video so if I cover my hand over this screen you're going to notice that we're affecting the amount of white coming out of the camera and the voltage drops if I take my hand off and we let the light back in notice BAM the voltage goes back up so it's a great quick test on a camera Okay, so let's say you're working with uh, switches. A lot of you do. And um, there's a couple of things you want to know about a switch. One is the switch active. So let's see, let's take a look at this switch we have here. Is this an active switch? I don't know. We'll plug in here. We'll see what's going on. Notice it warns us that there's volts because this happens to be a power over Ethernet enabled switch. So let's get out of that test. And we're going to go over to the data cable test and let's go down to uh, the network app. Hit it and see what it says. Well, it says that we have a 10-100 port, half and full duplex, and that it's attempting to transmit on pairs 1, 2, and 3, 6. So we know it's an active switch, so let's exit that. Now let's go up to uh, or down to power over Ethernet. Let's see if we have any PoE in that port. Let's see. Ah, it says we have 47.1 volts and it's putting it out in pairs 1, 2, and 3, 6. See how quick we do that? Okay, let's exit out of there. Ah, another thing we can do is let's say we're trying to figure out where this cable goes. We don't want to bother toning. We'll just go up to port blink, select that test, and now what it does is it sends out a link beacon and it flashes the LED right here on the PoE port or on any port in your switch. That's a very popular feature of the Low Voltage Pro. And notice how slow we blink the LED? That's so you can see it easily among the quicker blinking LEDs that you find in a typical communication rack. So you're starting to get a feeling, I think, of how we mix a powerful cable tester with the device testing ability of uh, the low voltage pro. So let's exit out of that. The common features you're going to find that you would expect cable ID for instance. Right now I'm just going to press cable ID down below here, the button. Let's say I have a bunch of these IDs plugged in. Plug this one in. This one happens to be number 16. Notice it says it's working and number 16 pops up and says it's a video ID. In other words on coax. So I'm going to pull that out let's take this one here this is a number 11 let's say we plug it into a wall jack uh, down the way says it's a data and it's number 11 right there 
Oh, excellent tone capability. Let's uh, stop this test by pressing exit. Let's start the tone on a data cable. We'll take this bar of this wire here. We will get our tone probe, our optional tone probe. Get a nice loud, uh, not light, nice loud uh, tone. So here's some of the accessories you get. You can get a mixed uh, kit of co 10 coax, 10 RJ45 adapters. Get 20 of the uh, coax if you like, or 20 of the RJ45. We'd mentioned the probe before. For the quality test that you get with the length app, anytime anybody has a length app, they get our RLQ adapters to check return loss quality. And then of course we have our Dolby speaker adapter kit to make sure you have your speaker wires labeled correctly. And you know, that's one last demo I want to give you because I think it's it's an exciting way to end the, the uh, video. What we're going to do is we're going to get out of that last test. And let's say I'm installing speakers and this is, says FR. It's uh, Dolby's official color that for that is front right. So we'll pretend we have a long speaker wire running out there. And I just want to show you this, um, this cool test. So we're going to click our speaker wire. Come on now. We're going to click our speaker wire onto our adapter that goes into the low voltage probe. We're going to go over to speaker. We're going to go down to our little 7.1 box and press OK. And notice the front right is blinking. So it says indeed we do have it right. We have found the front right and now we can label the speaker correctly. So thanks for looking at the Low Voltage Pro. I hope you pick one up. You'll find our technical support excellent. You'll also find our online video training excellent. Give you a quick example of that. If you simply go to bitebrothers.com LV Pro, you're going to find our video wall. Let's, uh, let's say we want to learn more about our cable testing. We'll go ahead and launch cable testing. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if it's loud enough. The Cable Test app is the most popular app on the Low Voltage Pro. Get an idea of our videos. Just press X to get out and then select any one of them you want. It's just perfect. We have three to five minute video on each particular app. And don't forget, it's web upgradable and we also have a video here on how to do the upgrade, how to download new apps to your Low Voltage Pro. Thank you again for watching.